Wings of Redemption, Jordy Jordan, Richard Jordan, man, man of many names. It also goes by the name Bernie, but I'm not saying the fucking last name. Uh, Wings of Redemption is a man who's been on the internet for God knows how long, like since what, like the, the late 2000s. It originally started as a Call of Duty commentator, like many people did back in the day with aspirations to blow up. And while many of them did, Wings blew up in more ways than one. Jordy Jordan, this man has, he's gone through it all here on YouTube. And most of it, well, probably all of it is like his own fault, right? Like there's no one's going to yeah. make excuses for Wings' shitty attitude that he's displayed all over YouTube the past 10, 15 years. And now we get here to two guys just smoking dabs and talking about all the fuck ups and all the funniest moments of this man's pretty, uh, pretty bleak existence. Now, Kiwi, I got to ask you, when, when was the first time you saw Wings of Redemption? Like, yeah, courtesy of you. Honestly, really? I, I, yeah, yeah, like I, man, it, it's crazy to say, but like up until maybe like three, four years ago, I didn't even know about any of the side of YouTube. Really? And I had heard about people like Chris Chan. I didn't really know the skinny until Same I here. started. Same here. Yeah, yeah, until I started watching like uh, your videos, to be honest. I, I watched the Geno Samuel stuff all the way through. Of course, that was like my first introduction. And then I started, yeah. yeah, and I started looking for updates and I found your video and you started doing videos over wings. So that was my first introduction. Really? Okay. So yeah. I never knew that because mine, bro, I'm telling you, I was, I was always on YouTube as a kid and I would love watching the call of duty videos. And while I never was, I had always heard of the name wings of redemption. I'd never watch his videos. I'd watch videos from guys like, what was it? it was like X jaws and different people like that. Talented you know? COD players. Yeah. Yeah. The, 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 the only the peak, only the peak, the phase clan and the optic. No, it was the optic <laughs> back then. Phase wasn't phase wasn't shit back then. Um, so I remember one time though, there was one guy I watched because I loved uh zombies videos like um black ops zombies or world of war zombies and shit like that. And it was that dude syndicate. Mm. And so I, I remember watching his shit and I was just like, this dude's getting like round 150 and shit. This is insane. And then one day a random video popped up in my recommended feed that said wings and syndicate battle on bog 1v1 and i remember watching it and i didn't really think like i was just like oh this is kind of funny that dude freaked out and years go by and that name wings of redemption and this video always like stuck in my head because i remembered oh that dude went off on that like stream the one time and it wasn't until like around 2016 2017 um, when that Sean Ranklin and all popped up and all those rage compilations about wings started coming out that I was like, holy fuck, like this dude, like this, this guy, this is like a normal thing for him to freak out like that. And I think that's what people like love to watch wings so much for is his, his, like, it's random nowadays. Like, I think just like five years ago, he would freak the fuck out all the time. I feel like you jump on a stream nowadays. He's a little bit more reserved. Um, he's but, so depressed. Yeah, yes, that's the depression. It, he has no, he has no energy to freak out like this anymore. And it may be depression. It may be his like large stature that's like that will not give him the energy to do so. It's all but, that diet Pepsi he's been having to drink. Oh, somebody drank all his Pepsi. Got to drink yeah. diet fucking Pepsi. A poor bastard, bro. Do you know how like you know how shitty your life's got to be that like the highlight of your day is a diet Pepsi. That's that's that man's life right now. Like it's just and wings currently, like from where we're gonna look at here is like the first time I ever saw wings to today, where wings is currently gearing up for what will I assume be the most sluggish boxing match of all time. Um, so it's gonna be a thirty second round. I thought it was I, one minute rounds, so but okay. No, are you rounds? serious? Wow. It's it's actually like I was messing around. It's actually just a, a single minute round. It's three one minute rounds. When they walk out of the corners, they're already going to be like, okay, catch your breath, throw a punch. Holy shit. Okay, let's go again. Block, block. All right, I need to. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Like, that's how it's going to be. They're really that fucking. Uh, this is going to be. This is going to be a massive medical risk for yes, both of them. That, that's what I've been saying, bro. I say it every week on our show that like people always want to like fantasy book boxing matches between locals, and it's like none of them would get cleared. And Wings and Boogie are two that I I can't even believe they got cleared to fight. That just seems that That's seems wild. fucking weird, right? Like, if it wasn't for the massive amounts of money that they both need, I would say it's not happening. But I think it might happen. 
Yeah, I think you it know, might happen. I heard, and I was listening to Wings on his stream just before we got on here to make this video. And something he said was, you know, if Phil, if Dark Side Phil knew what was good for him, he would have just fucking fought me and made the money. Because, like, he's so <laughs> afraid of his reputation, but at the same time, it's like, why, are you afraid to get hurt? Because What Wings, reputation? Yeah, you know, I know, right? That's the point. <laughs> That's what Wings is saying. He was like, he's like but if you want to, uh, if you want to fight me, he's like, and you're afraid of getting hurt, then why are you afraid to fight me? He's like, look at me, man. He's like, I'm not going to fucking hurt you. <laughs> he's like, so why don't you just fight? Because even he knows. He's like, look, yeah, Wings and Boogie's a big fight, but Wings and DSP? Whoa. Yeah. Like, now now we're hitting, like, the low-cow gladiator shit. Like, these yeah. are, like, the two behemoths. And, um... And he's got low testosterone. He ain't going to win this fight. Yeah, the lowest. And, um, and so we're going to have to see. Like I said, we'll see if that if that fight comes to fruition. It's apparently supposed to, but... See, that's where Wings is at now. And to show some of the funniest shit about Wings, we gotta go, we gotta go pretty far back. So, as we previously mentioned, Wings Syndicate, um, it was all spurred on from a, an appearance on the Painkiller Already podcast that <laughs> Wings had with Woody's Gamer Tag at the time. I think FPS Kyle was on there. I'm pretty sure he was at the time. Uh, and Syndicate was on there because they mostly would talk about like uh, Call of Duty gameplay and all that, but m it was more um, geared to the multiplayer because even back in the day, it was like the real men played multiplayer and you played zombies every now and again for fun. Syndicate, however, was like all about zombies. The dude was mostly like a, a zombie oriented YouTuber. He had like, well, he was amazing. Yeah, he was really fucking good at zombies. And he got on the show and he was talking about it and Wings just kept downplaying it. Like, ah, who gives a fuck? I could do that in my sleep. I could do that. I could I could almost tie the record if I just, tr if, if you know, without even trying. <laughs> and so Syndicate was like, okay, okay, well, would you want to play multiplayer though? And Wings, being like a, a Call of Duty um, YouTuber at the time who was pretty damn good at the game, he was like, fuck it. Like, like, like he, he, was, he was sure. He was for sure he was going to crush this guy. And things didn't necessarily go his way and people got to see wings of redemption's true colors live in action it's crazy man i i think i think what happened here was really what cemented him and exposed it cemented him for what he truly is it exposed what he really is you know yeah. he's always felt this way yes yeah. is just him acting on it yeah and people had brought up beforehand about his youtube channel that how just how lazy he was and just how like he was you know the um he just had a shitty personality so when it really was like amplified here with so many people watching man like it was uh it kind of fucks it kind of fucks with a person because wings tried to keep that shit deep down but when like like i mean i'm kind of saying the same thing over again here but like i said when it's on a bigger platform when you see like just how much people i don't know how many viewers this had at the time i'd assume like over a thousand he got spanked he got oh, he, spanked he did get his ass kicked um and the only <laughs> that, other thing and he have, talked he talked all this shit he too. did he talked the most shit bro and you'll hear like um i, I see you skip through a little bit if you want to start like closer to the beginning you can hear him as oh, he yeah, starts he just bitches and bitches and he's like, <laughs> oh, he's doing this. He's doing this. And you can tell like Wings is just he's the worst type of guy on Call of Duty. You know, all those people they talk about from back in the day, all those toxic Call of Duty kids. Well, Wings mm -hmm. was a toxic Call of Duty man child. <laughs> I got my sexy ass blue camo. <laughs> oh, Who by the way, what? be ready to hear that <laughs> Xbox sound quite a lot. That's what threw them all. How do I do this? First kill goes to wings. Uh, she probably, probably should have put radar on because I can see him being a bitch in the sound horn now. <laughs> he probably should have put radar on because I can see him being a bitch. And I've seen Syndicate looking in totally the wrong direction. Yeah. You know Wings is stream screen watching. Oh yeah, you know, like so. Syndicate's not even on in the microphone because he has to play in another room from his computer. So uh, you can only imagine how good this would have been if both of them were there talking at each other the whole I'm time. I'm just glad they're playing. Yeah, because there's really. a lot of yeah. people. There's a lot of people that would not play. That was just like. Yeah, I probably won't be on Pinko already again. <laughs> I uh, yeah, I'm with you right there. I play too. You know, I don't. I don't always win, but I'm there. He's got a minute left, and yeah. he already knows he's, he's going to lose, so he's saying he'll never be on the podcast on. again. 
I knew that was a tough lobby to do well in. Oh, was, there goes the controller. controller. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's going to use a gamer word. Wings, are you in the game? Wings, did you spawn in? I'm, I broke my controller. You broke your controller? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, keep fucking laughing, you fucking... Oh, Wings, I think you are. Oh, don't fucking suck. Again. Back. Shit. <laughs> yeah, we've all been there, man. Fuck you. Me? Fuck! Why the fuck you stream that shit? <laughs> It was your idea. No, I didn't say stream it. Well, at right there at that moment, bro, Wings realized that like this facade of him being like an all-time great Call of Duty player had just fucking crumbled. <laughs> you know, he realized that like even though he was gonna talk shit, he couldn't back it up when it mattered most. And like and, like all locales do, don't blame yourself. Be blame the closest person next to you, which well, Syndicate beat you, so you can't necessarily blame him. So blame your co-host. Why the fuck did you stream that shit? You yeah, know? Woody. Yeah, Woody. Why you stream this? Why you stream me getting my my butt whooped on COD? Dude, he he should, it's a camper. He's a camper. He is a camper. He really is. You see the way he plays. He like, but that's how both of them are playing. They're trying to play like camping on the hill. And I know that's not necessarily the definition of camping. Camping is like staying in one corner and not moving and all that. But like, look at the way Wings plays. It's a campy mentality. He barely moves. Like when I play Call of Duty, that's why I like. I like I've never gone on like the craziest kill streak because I just run and I keep running. Even if there's a bunch of dudes shooting in front of me and I'm on like a 10 kill streak, I've already decided that kill streak's over because I'm running and gunning. If I can get all four of them, that'd be lit. But if not, then I just go back to the spawn. I don't really care. Wings here and a lot of other players play very like strategically and all that. To me, it's like we're not in a real war, bro. <laughs> we're not in a real fucking war. Just just go have fun. But to Wings, this was war. And it's a war that he lost, and he lost it quite handily at Syndicate. And like I said, that's how he reacts. He drops a uh, drops a couple F slurs, and 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 that's that. That's that. He, he and he, you heard him. He said, "Oh, I won't be on PKA after this." He already had assumed, "Uh oh, well my my like this aura I was trying to build of me being the best that shattered, so I can't keep like you know if he can't be the best, if he can't have people think he was the best, he thought everything was over because that's the type of guy we were dealing with here. Everything he uses is a gimmick. So yeah. he, uh, it's surprising that he, he didn't think people would see through the facade of him being a talented player sooner. Uh, he's a mid. He's extremely mid. He and he, mid. he was... He, the thing was, is he was one of the only mid people streaming with an actual decent setup back in the day. And that's where his popularity came from. He wasn't an amazingly talented player. He was just one of the original people to do Call of Duty... Uh, uploads and he's yeah. a big fan of camping so he'd have these big long kill streaks like you said smoke you'd have kill streaks and you go run because you want to have fun wings would sit there and he'd just cap people over and over in the most uh gimmicky spot he could with the most gimmicky weapon he could with all the all the fucking yeah. tricks dude no you're 100 percent right it's like and what's funny is you think about like that old era of the call of duty people and I, you know, if I didn't watch it back then, I couldn't name any of them. But I tell you, you know two of them, and you know two of them pretty well. Wings, and do you know who the other one is? Who? I don't know. <laughs> Only Use Me Blade. Oh, yeah. He, but see, he had an interesting concept, an original did, concept. I mean, granted, like you just said, it's gimmicky, but at the same time, it's literally in the name. It works perfectly. I don't think literally on Modern Warfare 2 he ever shot a bullet. Like, so it was a very, uh, like I said, his videos, like I said, that's the thing. Blade, um, I would actually, as a kid, like, I'd watch some of his videos, just not really, I'd, like, religiously or nothing, but if I saw one of them, I recommended, I was like, this is interesting. This dude's running around getting a 25-0 nuke on, like, what, like, rust with a fucking knife only? That's that, lit. 
that's a guy we're going to have to do a best of over. Oh, absolutely. Did you see what happened to him last night? Yeah, they got kicked off their RV because that guy was crazy, man. That guy was crazy, but like at the same time, I was I was listening to what he was saying. He was like, "Oh, well, you guys scammed me. We were supposed to go on an RV trip, and now you're leaving." I was thinking, like, bro, from the jump, why didn't you think that was going to be what was going to happen? He was saying that they wouldn't even mention his name, and they wouldn't stream with, they wouldn't give him any promotion, like whatsoever. And that's kind of messed up, but. The funny part was Blade got covered in sewer water and left in the middle of an RV park. <laughs> it is it is funny though. Like, and you crazy. heard him yelling, dude, dude. Dude, dude, come on, dude. Like, I'm trying to get back to sleep, dude. Like, Let's I'm talk trying. about this and Bjorn's like, Seb massive, man. <laughs> that bro, I'm sorry, but those blade streams are starting to piss me off because I'm like, Bjorn is here in America. Stop fucking going to sleep at 11 o'clock dude like holy shit like, he's got every- diabetes dude calm down no no <laughs> bullshit. he's had diabetes for years <laughs> now you don't get that excuse now that it's actually starting to succumb if you want to live this life then you fucking live it you want to be lit romney then get lit <laughs> romney that's the problem with his streams bro he wants people to give him money to get drunk and then when the best part happens he wants to shut it down it's like no. He, he just wants to get drunk to be able to sleep at night, and he's letting yeah, the right? fans fund it. Yeah, yeah, and like, bro, yeah, it's just, it, you know what? And if if only use me, Blade. That's the one way I feel like he can still be entertaining. Is either well, there's two ways. Either like stop being a pussy and like just keep drinking and be like the, the crazy Blade, or go to Wings's house. Yeah, like because like, I saw someone donating to him last night. They were like, "This is go to wings, go to wings, go to wings, go to wings," and he was like, "Why?" And they were just like, "Just go to wings, just go to wings." What else do you have? What better yeah. do you have to do, man? Come yeah, on, right? Like just just see what happens. I don't know. Just show up on the RV at Wings's house, and um, Blade's like no that, fun anymore. He's turning into Captain Content. Yeah, yeah. It's it's but those are the two guys. It's Blade. It's uh, it's it's Richard here, and you know these are two guys who went from the Call of Duty commentary community to becoming lolcals, and they've both done it in different ways. You know, Jordy's a rager; he's uh, just a shitty person who admitted to like you know killing a bunch of cats and stuff when he was younger. Like Wing says a lot of fucked up shit on the streams. The fo- what uh, the age of consent should be thirteen, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I cut CP off around you know he said I shit like that. Twelve. Like, yeah like, like what is that like that's and he said that like very like very seriously like you know like, like oh I, but he's just no being problem. a shock jock he's a shock yeah. jock yeah i'm just i was just trying to be a shock jock i really didn't mean any of that it's like dude dude you said it so fucking like confidently there's no way you there's no way there's no way yeah there's no and, way uh, now we now, see granted, you <laughs> now, granted i hate to keep bringing it back to him, but blade may be a worse i think blade might be a worse person what do you think? Blade is definitely worse, I would say. He he lives like it's a shark eat fucking shark mentality in, in IP2. That's how I'm going to put yeah, it. Yeah, that's and then you go over to Blade stream and it's ass. Like it's just he like bro, they it's I'm telling you, I watch that stream and I get furious. I'm like, "What? Stop giving this motherfucker money." Like yeah. for real. Like he is literally just gonna stream until shit gets funny and then end the stream. That's what always happens with him. He never like, wants a problem, and that's the whole point of it. Yes, yeah. It's like no one watches these streams to see fun. Like he always puts non tox no toxicity. I'm like, what do you think <laughs> you're doing? Like the, like you see, we talked about it before the stream started, bro. That me and you, we want to make the jump. Sorry, Blade. You're you've come much too far to be able to make the jump in content now. Like no one's gonna watch only use me blade hiking streams. Like it's yeah, it's not it's, it, this isn't an option for you. You need a drink or you need to just not stream. Like it's just that simple. And you need to go crazy. <laughs> blade needs a lot of things in his life, man. He needs to get him a, a new woman. She don't like dude, maybe She's a, f- I'll say it. She's she is the worst. Well, now I gotta cut it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I yeah, it. she is. I yeah, hate her. I see her because, and I'm sorry, I get it. Like you know, you support your husband or whatever, but like I mean, you cheated on him because you're a fucking bitch. But like, and but at the same time, it's like here comes Blade taking his shirt off, starting to scream the N word, and next thing you know, upstream is offline. And like I couldn't imagine. Like I said I couldn't imagine being her uh, her fucking kids. I like I said, I, I'd lose it. I would too, dude. That's what, like, with Shani, I felt the same way. It's like when Shani had those two boys and she'd kind of pimp them out for donations, 
Like, dude, I... That, honestly, that is probably the woman... That's my Gucci's right there, Shania oh, for really? Christ. Yeah. The, the thing that really got them was they realized that Wings wasn't as serious about the podcast as they were. They wanted to go out and do that camping survival trip and wings was like sure i'll meet you out there and then like what an hour or two beforehand they had already driven like four hours woody and kyle already driven four hours wings is like sorry not gonna go so it was kyle i think had already driven a little while and wings let him know the night before the trip then wow. that he wasn't gonna go so they tried talking him back into it hoping that oh we'll just go he'll, he'll be convinced to come and he wasn't so them two went on it and they were like yeah this is fucking weird yeah two like, guys in the forest is a little weird yeah, yeah it's some broke back mountain shit yeah and like it's just like no if we had like that funny funny fat guy there to like kind of like be like all right cool like this is now it's like now it's not as gay then they may have been like all right we'll do it but they left and it was obviously it was something that pissed them off because like, look you're planning this big trip with all your friends and then you're one of your friends at the last second is like nah not feeling it's <laughs> gonna sit here and play fucking call of duty all weekend like it'd piss you off too probably man look who they're explaining this to i noticed yeah that's mr medica i forgot about that that's wild i hope he i hope he's all right man yeah i think we should uh there. we should go through the the more downfall aspect regard to him regarding him and pka where the survival trip was yeah, I, I, I've coming about a, I, i've heard a little bit about this so i'm kind of curious about the details on this because the, from what i understand didn't he uh, initially agree to something and then at last minute cancel out on you guys so he led you along to believe something was going to happen and then didn't give you the courtesy of just saying outright no or even a heads up can we can we try again for another time kind of thing yeah this is yeah, another example of right this is another example of us as a show trying to do things outside the show, outside of just what we're doing here tonight. Um, we, I guess, we'd been watching a lot of Bear Grylls and Survivor Man and that sort of thing, and uh, it was very popular at the time, and and we were into it. We all liked watching them survive in the wilderness with minimal tools and such, and uh, somehow it came up. Hey, let's do a survival trip. Let's go out into the wilderness, the three of us, and uh, let's see let's see how we how we fare, and. Uh, Everybody was on board, except for one. I was going to mention the lefty thing. Um, there were four of us on the show at that point. Taylor was not on the show. It was myself, Woody, Wings, and a fourth gentleman named uh, Lefty. And Lefty, when this came up, he was like, ah, that's not for me, boys. Um, you know, that, that, that's not my game. Uh, I, I don't think I'd fare very well. I wouldn't enjoy it. I'm sorry. I'm out. We were very respectful of that, Woody and I. We were, we were, we were like, ah, well, all right, man. Cool beans. You know, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. Nobody here is going to give you. And then Wings interjects. Pussy. A real <laughs> man goes into the wilderness and survives. A real <laughs> man does this and that. A real man does blah, blah, blah. You you know, lefty's from Chicago. So he's like, ah, Chicago. Yeah. <laughs> I, if I had my passport, I'd come up there to Chicago and whoop your lily-livered ass. You know, this is, this is the sort of like mindset that he has that was a really... side joke kyle just mentioned because wings thought that you needed a passport to go state to state <laughs> oh wait no really yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, he, wow he really is a fucking uh <laughs> and so <laughs> and so you know we were like ah he, he threw lefty really under the bus there because lefty didn't want to do this thing like and you know privately i would have liked lefty to come on the show of course you know four four people on a trip is better than three five is even better but but Three is is acceptable, I suppose. So planning begins. Lots of planning. We're looking at satellite images of potential locations. We settle on this place called the Uari National Wilderness uh, Forest in North Carolina. It's a true wilderness. Um, it's a I think it's a federal park or a state park, something like that. But you're you can go out there, you can camp, and uh, we, we we settle on a date. We all figure up, you know, when we're going to arrive. We, we, we started find, like, divvying a... up skill sets, right? Like Kyle was the hunter. I'm particularly good at starting fires. I don't recall what Wings was, but he was working on fires too. And we were just like all thinking about how we were going to succeed at this. Yeah, I think and, it's and hilarious how chat videos, always slays Woody. Like, one of the things was <laughs> yeah. that we kind of got fixated on was starting fires with flint and steel. And so I made a quick Fucking video Minecraft. on one of my YouTube channels of me in my backyard making a fire with flint and steel you know it's it's a little annoying at first but once you get the the the, the knack of it you can do it wings made four videos of him making fire with flint and steel 
and never accomplished it. He uploaded all four, all four <laughs> failures. They, they failed in various ways. They, there would be a cut between him going, chick, 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 and the, the camera would cut, and it would come back on, and then there was a big pile of leaves on fire. And you were like, like 18 inches tall, like the fire. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What happened? Like, like he just got a big lighter and lit some leaves on fire in his backyard. And again, they're like leaves you'd rake up in your backyard. I'm going literally into the woods and like scratching uh, trees with a knife. He found a like, bird's I... nest and lit it on fire. Yeah, I yeah. I got like, really what? upset about that. I don't know. Why. He lit a bird's nest on fire. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, they weren't in it. <laughs> he ate so, the eggs. So the like day that. comes. It's time to do this thing. And so I set out on this quite long drive. I'm going to say it's four and a half, five and a half hours from where I lived at the time to where we're doing this thing. So if I leave the night before, I'm going to get a a motel room in the area 30 minutes from the meetup location. And uh, that way I don't have to drive, you know, early in the morning. I don't want to leave my house at 5 a.m., get there at 10 a.m. and be already just kind of out of it before we begin hiking and surviving and such. So I'm driving in the night before and I think to myself, hey, let me give old Wings a call. Make sure we're all good to go here. You, you had know? to call because him. It's, it's Wings. <laughs> call him up. Say, hey, man, you get ready to do this thing. I'm I'm driving in now, about three hours from the place. What, what are you up to? You know, you could leave. if you left right now, you'd be here around eleven, and uh, you know, you could you could share this motel room with me. I, I could get I could get a room with two beds or something. He's like, I'm not going. <laughs> what? what? What What do you mean? I, I'm not coming. When were you going to tell me? I'm telling you right now. What? The, what? The, so I call. I, I, I text Woody. I'm like, he's not fucking going. He's not <laughs> fucking going. And so Woody gets on the phone with him. Woody tries to talk. And I'm thinking like, Woody's going to talk him into this. I'm still driving with this idea. Woody will talk him into this. Woody's a great motivational speaker when he needs to be. And, and I'm sure Woody There's was some telling compilations him. compilations with... of me telling Wings like, you know, if you want to be an extraordinary person, you have to do extraordinary things. <laughs> be a winner, not a loser. Be a doer, not a donter. You know, Henry because... Rollins esque. Yeah. Yeah. This sort of talk, you know, and, and he just doesn't fucking come. He just mm-hmm. doesn't fucking come and and and, and that eats it now it's just me and woody in the woods yeah you can tell that's just, that just kind of weird it it's got gay and that was the end of his career <laughs> yep and wings yeah well, imagine that bro it's not even like a thing about like internet shit it's like so imagine you and your friends are doing like a trip like that and it's the night before like so you guys are hyping it up you're all excited to go and it's like nah like nah i'm just <laughs> feeling fucking lazy like you know you do that every now and again like, it was with stupid shit. Like, not, like, on the scale of this. Going, like, five hours to do, like, a survival trip for your show, might I add. Like, I'm pretty sure they were going to, like, I assume they would have, like, done something. Like, like just, like, take video. I don't know. But, uh, but yeah, he just. Yeah, they're going to make it into a video, and he totally boned them. Yeah, and he just, and, and like I said, I couldn't imagine. I'd be pissed at my boys if they did that. It's like, what do you, like, what the fuck? Like, you let them know that night beforehand that, eh, well, I'm telling you now, deal with it type shit. They're going just, close to you, too. It's not like you have to go to them. They're coming pretty yeah. damn close to you. Yeah. Yeah, man, what a piece of shit. Yeah. <laughs> what a fucking piece of shit. That's Jordy Jordan for you. <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, I mean, it's going to take a lot for him to get out of that chair. Like, and this is what? This is like 10 fucking years ago. So oh, the same guy right now, this same dude we're looking at, is now going to have to get out of his chair, take a flight all the way over to England, and now he's going to have to fight a man in front of, like, where were they fighting? A fucking Just, Wembley? Like, is that fucking wow. Wembley Wings is going to be fighting that? I, I didn't know they were fighting over in the UK. That's yeah, wild. Yeah, it's in, it's in England. <laughs> I don't see it happening. Have contracts been signed? I think so. Oh, my God. It's either, like okay, it's either fight today. or lawsuit. Like, literally today, earlier on the stream, and you know how much of a cheapskate Wings is. Wings will not, like, he, he he's, if he gets his money, he he will not spend it on dumb shit. Oh, I mean, sometimes he will, but like on something like I'm about to bring up here, you know he's got to be serious. Because Kelly Wings' his wife yells into the room <laughs> and says, hey, your fight shorts are going to be $216. And Wings is like, all right, all right. And he tells people, like, well, I'm trying to get sponsorships on them and everything. So Wings is already, like, he's thinking of his fight gear and everything. And so, I mean, it seems like he might go through with this. So... Like I said, the money is going to be good for them, Kiwi. I'm pretty sure they'll be making a good bit here. So it might be in Wings' best interest because he's people were asking him, saying, what is Wings' current life goal? And right now, in the year 2023, he said his life goal is to get out of debt. And I guarantee <laughs> you this one boxing fight will get him out of debt. 
Yeah, it, yeah, I bet that that's what he's like. He's like, I just got to do this. I'll get out of debt. Nobody will probably even sustain a black eye. No. I mean, I've I've seen a uh, guy a guy like Butterbean box, and yeah. he could he could rumble. But that's also a trained a trained boxer professional who's conditioned. Neither of these men are going to be anywhere near conditioned for a boxing match. It's going to be an absolute. Uh, I don't want to say freak show, but like it's gonna be, it's gonna be comical. Yeah, we'll no, like it, that. It, it's gonna be a freak show. No, you, you kind of hit the nail on the head. It's gonna be too. That's what. That's why they're doing it. Yeah, it's um, it, it is basically why they're doing it. It's gonna be on like I think the KSI fight card. Wow, like it's gonna wow. be like an undercard thing. Like it's, gonna it's be that it, like, big. It's I this beef so, yeah. is that big. What's even their beef? Is it they? They don't even have any beef. It's just it's like just, oh, fine. See, I think Boogie's just the surrogate for DSP personally. I think it's just seeing Wings of Redemption fight. Well, Boogie is probably a fucking True. bigger name Fair. than DSP, right? That's, I who hate who's hated by more people? Well, DSP, I, oh, maybe Boogie. These That's are great this points. Is weird. Yeah, this is weird. Like, because Boogie's pretty now, hated. I feel like there's a lot of people around like hating Boogie, but I feel like more people know him from the Francis shit. Personally, like, because I remember, like, yeah. I talk about Biggie with, like, I mean, Biggie, not <laughs> Boogie. <laughs> if I ever bring up Boogie with, like, a friend of mine, they'll be like, oh, that dude who used to spurg out the fat dude, Francis. They're like, yeah, I remember him. And, like, you're like, no, like, the guy who wants you to pay for his Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, like, I, said, I think it's, it's all the hate for all these guys is warranted, but it's such a, like, a, what would be the bigger draw? You know, like, Wings is obviously the one. Like, if you're talking about, I think when they, like, do, like, these big fights, they consider it, like, who's the big 1A guy? Who's 1A, 1B? Who's the dude who's, like, the, the main, like, so say, like, John Jones is fighting, like, I don't fucking know, to somebody. It's a like John But there's Jones similar the weight 1A. classes. Like, well, DSP yeah, would be way. We're talking about star oh. power. So yeah. who would be like like Wings would one hundred percent be? I feel like the most hated and well known out of the three, right? I'd say most hated, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know, well maybe, known, well known, maybe Boogie then. Yeah, Boogie would be. See, that's the thing. It's like DSP lies in the middle, and DSP in my. I don't think that they would have done this fight with DSP because like, was that on the table? Was that an offer? I think so. I think so. Man, I, it's just because DSP is like, isn't he like a shorter guy and he's little? He's kind of a little guy. No, I think they would probably be able to make that work. I, I, I don't know. It's just there's a huge weight class difference there that Boogie and Wings, well, they're kind of on the same level. I think they're getting around it by saying it's an exhibition. Huh. Well, so, it definitely I mean, is going to be that. Yeah. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. here because It may even be one of those fights where they don't even say a winner at the end if it goes to decision. They might just say, oh, well, that's the fight. Like they, that's how they did it with like uh, Mayweather and Logan Paul. They just mm-hmm. never set a winner after the decision. Like it's just, what? So, yeah, because it's an exhibition. Like if one of them like knocked the oh, other one out, God. like I guess it would be a winner. But I don't know. That's dude. That's such a cop out. That's I such, know. and that's why, like the sport of boxing, man. It's just it's always been so ripe with like fraud and yeah. all this tampering because you can put so much money on it. It'd oh, be yeah. ridiculous not to rig a fight or two every year. It'd be ridiculous. The amount of money you can make by rigging one fight. Oh, Absolutely. I know they do it with kickboxing. So I know that's a fact. Um, Bro, but boxing you, is probably a little different. I wonder, and I'm genuinely curious, like I said, I don't know if there's any websites that will take bets. But if a website is like willing to take bets on these YouTube celebrity boxing things, and there's a fucking like, and there's like an actual like money line on Wings and Boogie, I'll I'll send you it. Like I said, I'll <laughs> I'll drop something like one of our two high yeah. stupid weeks. Like everything we make, I'll just put on fucking Boogie. Like, too <laughs> high. <laughs> we'll do a too high for stupid uh, underground b- basement edition where we run like a little Chinese gambling ring. We have this chalkboard, and everybody's yelling, smoking cigarettes. I thought about doing that before for people, because one time I was on doing the local wrestling, and I asked people, "Would anyone want to gamble on this?" And I remember, funnily (laughs) enough, Music Biz Marty was like, "I want to," (laughs) and uh, and a lot of people were like, "Yeah, why not?" Like, let's all like. So I was even thinking at the time, like, let's have uh, let's have fucking what's it called? 
let's have in the discord server like a channel where people can throw money for stuff and, all oh, that. and i was i was so about it but like i think it was just like i think it was the fact that i wouldn't be able to gamble that kept me from like having the will to do it because i was like i can't if i do this i cannot be like like even if someone offers me to be like hey i'll take you on this bet like if i'm the one running this it's just like a that is some sketchy legal yeah. shit too. yeah so I, was like, I don't know how i feel about this um this next video i have lined up is wings gets stream sniped and he gives us the iconic look here yeah look, this is uh i think you that like you could say the you could say the syndicate um thing like the syndicate one-on-one -on -one was the beginning of the end this is the end this is where like all bets were off. Once this shit started going viral and people realized how funny it was to see Wings freak out. Like I said, the, the trolls attacked in such ferocity, bro, that like it, it it's never stopped still to this day. Like Wings Man. always had people who fucked with him, but after this shit started going crazy, these videos from Sean Ranklin and other clip channels, shit hit the fucking fan for wings this is what separates wings from the boys all right like this is like most streamers get stream sniped and they're like all right guys like come on now wings get stream sniped and you you see this this he glorious panic attack yeah this glorious seven minutes and 32 seconds of a grown man just having a fucking freak out <laughs> over call of duty world war world, is this world war ii this I don't know. Sucked. I don't know. This game sucked if it was a. I. This is wild. I love this one. <laughs> Excellent start. Oh my god! Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's snipe. a good grenade kill, though. That was good Come to fuck on, man. Come to fuck on, man. <sighs> this is one of my favorites, man. I love this. Fucking a, dude. They bar. keep going back to my fucking so spot. Overpowered. They're just sitting on my spot. They're sitting over there on near my the docks. spot. Get away There's from like my three of them. spot. You fucking camper. You got three. You got three dudes on your team right there on, in, in, a, in, a, in a clan. Quit sniping. Get some skill. Quit sniping. Get some skill. Come the fuck on, man! Real talk. <laughs> Real talk. I love how he's safe dude, nowhere. Shut the fuck up, dude! You're a little kid. They know exactly where he is. <laughs> ah, damn it, dude! videos bro these call of duty <laughs> trolling shits i used to love this that chair is being abused he's just being shot at by his teammate <sighs> over and over to give away his position Webby, <laughs> fucking leave, dude. <laughs> Webby, fucking leave. <laughs> Living his best life. All right, guys. If they join session again, I'm I'm just gonna have to fucking stop playing. Until they, until they leave. Like, all they're doing is hurting my livelihood. <laughs> hurting my livelihood. If somebody could please, like, get me their information. <laughs> like, maybe, like, um, I forgot what that shit's called. A dox. But. Like, uh, if, if somebody could get me, like, their information, like, their name, their address, the number, <laughs> how I can get in contact oh with my these guys. God. I would really like to know because, like, I'm seriously considering... Um, suing them <laughs> because at this point they're going to follow me around when I stream, <laughs> and they're affecting my him. business. 
at this point. They're giving you business. Honestly, they're affecting my they're they're affecting my they're affecting my ability to make money. It appear offline doesn't work. I'm fucking offline. <laughs> no, they're they're joining through recent players. Look here. Look here. Look, listen. <laughs> Appearing <laughs> offline does not fucking stop it. So stop giving fucking advice you know nothing about. Wow, ban everybody. Ban- <laughs> um, I'm banning anybody <laughs> trying that, to give me advice. I'm banning everybody trying to give me advice. <laughs> Stop giving me advice, man. I know what I'm talking about, man. All these trolls on here, I'm going to sue them because they're hurting my livelihood. Like, bro, can you imagine how how fucking hard that judge would laugh if this dude ran in there and he's like, it's all these fucking trolls, man. I'm trying to play and they're shooting their rockets at me and shit. And it's really, it's really just been getting to me, your honor. And they'd be like, dude, like, get a fucking job. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, what do, what do you really think that you're going to intimidate people to not fuck with you on a video game? Do you show people that this is how you're going to react? And when he did this, like, when he did this, people saw how he reacted, and they just never fucking let up. <laughs> if you are this sad with your job, why not find a new one? Right? Right? And, Kiwi, you know, it just hit me as I was watching this, because I was thinking, like, oh, man, like, when I was saying that... uh. You know, watching the guy jump in front of him and all, I was thinking, oh, I used to remember doing that as a kid just to piss people off in Call of Duty games. <laughs> or watching YouTube uh, videos where people would do that and just troll people and piss them off, like trap them in corners and all that. And it yeah. clicked to me. I was like, oh, my fucking God, dude. This is the next generation of that. Because Call of Duty bans everyone all the time for trying to, like, fuck with people, now you just get guys trying to mess with wings in game to make them freak out like this. <laughs> like, this is just that generation of guys used to, like, making people mad in Call of Duty games, seeing that they can make a guy mad in a Call of Duty game in front of thousands of people. So Things like, have I, really changed. Yeah, bro, the game has fucking changed, and it's not changed in Wings' favor. I mean, look at him on the <laughs> look at him on the screen. He's so he's trying to do some stress eating, and that microphone's about to be his fucking target. <laughs> it's Wings and people like Wings that Call of Duty really don't like these days. Nah, yeah, no, they fucking they 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 want to rid the world of as many Jordy Jordans as they can. Yeah, for real. Man, I just can't believe how riled up he gets at his chat that's legitimately trying to give him advice. Now, don't give me no fucking advice. <laughs> don't give me no fucking advice, man. Ban anybody I'll, trying to give me advice. I'll give you some advice. Stop sniping, get some skill. Stop sniping, get some skill. That's some good advice right there. That's all, we, that's all the advice he wants. We have a saying over in the King Cobra community. It's that... um. A lot of Josh has like 50,000 subs now, right? And a lot of those are alts from trolls that he's banned in his chat throughout the of course, years. Of course. I believe that Wings is no different. Yeah, that's a good one. Wings' sub count is actually kind of startling when you realize how many he has. He's for what, over 500, 600K? Yeah, a lot. Yeah, it's a, lot. A, it's a lot. I said that's from an account that's been around for years. A lot of it, I'm not exactly sure. Now, someone can correct me if I'm wrong here. Um, if that's the original Wings of Redemption account, because I believe at one point it was called Unlimited UAV, which is his gamer tag he went by for a while. But um, if that's the case, then a lot of those subs are probably just from like accounts in 2009 and 2010. Yeah. Who don't he had an early, yeah. he had early day like contracts with people. He had a lot yeah, of Shinova, subs yeah. back when he actually had a reputation still. So. I don't know. A, a lot of it's trolling these days. I don't see very many supporters. He's always bitching about not making enough money. So. Always. It's always about his money. It's uh, Wings Wings is a lot like DSP in that way, and a lot like all Log mm-hmm. House. They're very, very greedy. It all comes down to money at the end of the day, which is why he's going to fight Boogie. It has nothing to do for like him having any hate towards Boogie or wanting to make it an entertaining spectacle. It's all about the dollar. We're going to play the video. So we're just waiting for people to come in right now. Screaming here, there. I can't hear the, the video right now. Kind of say stop when you want to address something. They'll be able to hear it. You'll be able to hear it. Kind of like fill me in. For those of you who don't know there, I'm trying to nip this in the butt early. A video came out today that said some slanderous things. And it's got my whole family in an uproar because most of it's purity lies. And this is the guy that's going to be in the video. So we're going to play the video for you guys. Um, we're going to play the audio of the video, let you guys hear what's said. We're going to address this conversation. Yeah, I live right down the street from him. But we ended up being friends, me and Kenneth, more than me and Jordy, because Jordy's kind of a fucking bully. 
right. so this first thing should be the sister stuff, yeah, right? Yeah, no, it was uh, talking about you being a bully. I wanted to clarify on that. More like uh, we went and hung out together. Most of the time we were playing video games. Kind of the How thing. old were we? Very young. Uh, Five, six? Like six, to, six to ten or eleven, I think. Uh, when he was eleven, it was probably younger than that. Probably younger. And um, yeah, but when anymore. you use the term bully, they take it in a broad context. I've never been a bully in my life. Would you agree with that? Like, like no, bullying no, not people? Like, no, not like like coming straight out and being bullyish to somebody. I mean, no. I, I will, I'll agree to the fact that you know I've always took video games seriously and yeah. I've always been a yeah. sore loser. But like, I've never been a person that will go to a school. Or out in no, public and, no, and bully no, somebody. Not like not like bully in that context. That's why I wanted to stop it there. With it. This is not my brother. This is Aaron. <clears throat> Aaron is my mother's friend's son. Mm-hmm. And I will say this as well before we start. This was a four-hour long conversation that I did not agree to recording. And they asked me specific questions about topics from Jordy, PKA, to other people that were in the YouTube community, so a lot of this stuff is that's said and clipped out in this vi- in this very video was stuff that was nothing to do with Jordy at all. So that being said, we'll continue. Um, that Jordy was getting was being trolled, and at first I was like, you know, kind of def- you know, kind of went to the the defense of the guy because I know him, you know what I mean, but. Then it was like little things that I would hear through my mother interacting with his mother and knowing his brother and people that hang out with him and his sister. I know his sister well. Uh, Things started pinging in my ears that was like, this shit is, this shit's real. And he, he really does. It's not, it, it's not an act, but it is. Thing for me and what made me reach out, really. All right, what I was referring to there was clipped out of context. What did you they asked to? me a question about when I said that this shit's real and all of that. They asked me a, content, a question about whether or not you were acting as a character or if this was actually your personality. And I was like, well... I don't know why this guy opinion, would come on is, here. This is a character that he plays on the stream and on the PKA. And Oh, yeah, what happened... What happened was this guy's mom got on to him. Uh, Jordy and this guy go way back, and their moms go way back, too. They still talk. And I guess this guy talked like a bunch of crap about Jordy being into his sister and doing all this weird stuff <laughs> to the trolls. He, bro, he, he imagined this being like that, like hearing like, oh, my neighbor, a guy I know from childhood is getting fucked with online. Let me go make up some shit about him to a bunch of people online who I have no idea about. And you were right about his mom and all too. It's just that Wings is, I think Wings and his, or Wings, like Wings' sister told Wings' his mom and then she in turn told his mom and she was like, fuck no. Like, what are you doing? And then... <laughs> We're here. We're here with this dude on Wings's fucking stream. Went down the street to Wings's house to answer to all of his fucking wrongdoings here in front of Wings. What a what a weird situation that only someone like Wings would have to go through. Wings looks overjoyed to be in this situation right now. Oh, he's happy as shit, bro. <laughs> he's happy as shit that people think he diddle his sister and stuff. Like. <laughs> I, I bet he wish he was Bernie right about now in this <laughs> yeah. moment. <laughs> yep, yep. A lot of the stuff doesn't match his personality, but then little things here and there do kind of shine through. It's what I was getting at, but they put it in there and then to try and infer that maybe this, some type of allegation or whatever that they're talking about a rumor. When I was talking about a rumor, I was talking about a rumor about you working at Met Glass, but they clipped all of this extra stuff in here. You talking about where I fell off the melter? Yes. How's that a rumor? I thought it was a rumor because I didn't know for sure. I heard through I mean, my mom. It was in the newspaper. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. A lot of this stuff is just in absolute bullshit. This guy. The is rumors about the because there was rumors going around through the family about sex possible sexual assault on his sister. What, say it again, Wings. Don't feel the shame if you got a jerky shit to your sister. He had either said. He, I oh, believe oh, that he said something extremely inappropriate. And when he was called on it, 
by this would have been so much more funny him just about like what he said through the fucking headphones and ran. He <laughs> said that he didn't care what he said right. because now this was a completely different person i was talking about in the conversation because they were try- trying to br- bring up that um age of consent and they knew that he had a younger sister and they were trying to say all this stuff about him with this molesting his sister supposedly or whatever the hell they wanted to try and spin there and what i was talking about was another fellow that i know james that legitimately had problems with with that same issue stop it, you right there because taylor wants to talk to you about this yeah because he's upset as hell yeah but I, I think it's in your best interest i love how wings is like he's like i got you uh, he's got that little like smug fucking attitude about it it's like well taylor she's mad as hell too and she want to talk about you and i'm like wings these things are probably all true well if she's on the stream or listening or whatnot um i never said anything directed at you at all when i was asked to i was asked questions about you in particular i said that around this around the time that, that uh kenneth went in the military i stopped hanging around i didn't feel it was comfortable for me to be friends with someone that was much younger than me and plus we didn't have shit in common so and that was pretty much it for our mention of you in the conversation. That's the that's the whole messed up thing about this whole thing is that it's like I mean, like you say, that's it, but we still got five minutes worth here, and yeah, we haven't got to Go the wife stuff. So. What he said was a, a fucking lie, and it was some fucking straight up inappropriate shit to be saying about your thirteen year old sister. His his sister reached out to me and she was very young and I was like no thank you and I stopped fucking going around you know what I'm saying yeah, I mentioned yeah. it right there so that was when they asked me about around it. that time is whenever that's all, all my, that shit happened that's all my buddy James of course <laughs> yeah yeah, that's just about some <laughs> random guy we were talking about totally not you Wings these guys wanted to know about like all these other people but not you Wings we only talked about you for like five minutes <laughs> get the fuck out of here this they guy, look like a couple bullfrogs. Yeah, they, they do. <laughs> they both look like fucking brothers right here. So like, it's not. It, it, but we're not talking about brothers. We're talking about sisters. Wings' to... sister in particular. And this guy is claiming that Wings said some shit. And I mean, they showed a clip there. Wings had said some weird shit about like, jerking it to your sister and different yeah. shit. So like, he obviously people are gonna call him on this because it's weird behavior. But that's uh. The fact that this guy heard this story and is talking about this, look, at this, at, on one hand, it's like you can see him here. He's trying to walk it all back. And obviously that just could be because he's in front of Jordy and he doesn't want to do this to his face. But like I said, who knows? There could be some truth to what this guy is saying, but I don't know. There's no proof of it. And what they, reason yeah. What reason would he have to come forward if, Yeah, right. you know, well, what reason? Wanted, I, they assume he just wanted clout and shit. I don't see that, dude. Like, he's he's like... I don't think he wanted Cloud. I think he was just probably telling people what he honestly thought, and he didn't think his mama would have such a problem with it. Yeah, man. Like I said, it could be a lot of things. Fact of the matter is, though, like this is the situation he's in now. Look at him. Like, look, he's regretting everything he said so seriously right now. Even if it's the truth or not, look at the situation it's gotten you in. And like you said, w- are you that fucking dumb that you agreed to come? Like, why can't you just say no? I'm not going to go down to your house. Like, sorry about that, but no. <laughs> just, because, you, you, because mama say, mama said, go apologize yeah, to my it, friend. He probably lived with his fucking mom. So she kicked him out until he went down there and apologized. It's just some, this is just some sad shit, but it goes to show what, like, even, <laughs> these are wings as neighbors. These aren't, aren't online trolls. And the trolling's got so bad that they're able to contact his neighbors. There's and some motherfucking just, lead in the water at the trailer yeah. park. And they're just given, like, firsthand information that they have about wings. And like I said, I don't know if this is true or not, bro. Like, I said, we can't tell for sure, but, like... <laughs> It's just, it is, you're right, it is very weird that this guy felt like, you know what, this is a good time to bring all this up, but who knows? Who fucking I th- knows? I think it would be different if it was, pr- if, it, if it couldn't be proven, if Wings was like, I don't know this guy. Then yeah. I'd be like, all right, yeah, maybe. But like, it's, th- this is like the, this is all the proof we need that these guys grew up together. 
Yes. Why right. would he just? Why would he just be like, yeah, you know, Jordy got sent away for hitting on his sister. Mm, yeah, no, you're right. You're right. Like I said, it, there's a lot of weird shit here, man. There definitely is. It's very weird. It's very weird. It was right before that Jordy got booted to his grandmother's house over whatever the fuck happened there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and the rumors about the because there was rumors going around through the family about sex possible sexual assault on his sister. Really? Okay. We have and heard of that, that being a big meaning behind Sabrina kicking him out to go to his grandmother's house. Like who did you hear that from? Uh came right out of my mother's lips of, from his mom. <laughs> um, okay. That he had either said he I believe that he said something extremely inappropriate. And when he was called on it by Sabrina, when she confronted him about what he had said, he said that he didn't care what he said because what he said wasn't a fucking lie. The way the video made it sound. Oh, my God. (laughs) (laughs) Man, bro. And the the words. That's such a wings thing to say. It is. It is the what they're saying on the screen there and everything. Like it does make me think. Like this guy was here, just like, all right, I, I need to tell someone about this now. That there's all this about wings, and now that he's here in front of him, he's just trying to walk it back to not look like to not get Jordy's ire. Which, like, again, bro, just run out of the room at this point. He's not gonna fucking chase you. Like he's not, just get out of there. What do you like? The, the fact yeah, that he well, sat here for this long is so. <laughs> it's so wild. Why is he doing this to himself? That's my I, question. No idea. Like you said it must be his mom. She must yeah. be like, you get down there and you apologize. I don't want the I don't want the Jordans to think we're a bunch of assholes, you know. There are yes, a lot around here. <laughs> yeah, you know the Jordans own half this trailer park, Scott. Yeah. Yeah, they own plot A and plot D. Like they, <laughs> they own a lot around here. <laughs> fucking christ bro. they it's, actually it's, own they own they trailers they yeah. big time <laughs> yeah. we rent in they own theirs do you know that's that's almost 350 dollars a month <laughs> how are we supposed to get that is it this is the type of people that live in conway though this is yeah. conway's finest right here this fucking guy this fucking dude next to wings wings himself like wing, you know, i guess you don't get to see wings out in the street very much this dude i assume still works he looks like he I mean, I assume he has a job. He probably, you know, does stuff for the community, and he was trying to get some words out there about the sh- the, the shitty things that Wings was doing. But look where he ended up now, bro. It can't be said enough. Like he is really in Wings's like streaming den, confessing to all these fucking. Like, he had... how awkward does that be for Wings hearing? Like, yeah, yeah, I heard he, <laughs> I heard he got sent away from saying really inappropriate things about his <laughs> sister and all. And there's like a thousand something people watching this. Like, and you're sitting, you're hearing all this stuff about like shit you probably did in the past, talking about your sister. People are pointing out weird shit you've said, and you just got to take all of it. That's what Wings has done now because he's done all this fucked up shit, and people are now talking about it. Like, just imagine having to sit in front of a stream of thousands hearing about all the weird shit you've done. That's the type of. <laughs> grave he's done it is imagine uh, like what, what i don't understand about this whole situation is jordy's just acting normal like this is just a like oh i'm inconvenienced by this yeah like jordy yeah. this is some serious allegations going around you forced your got this guy into your chair and you just you it couldn't be a it's just another day you yeah, know it's not the <laughs> like, yeah, it's just, well if tom seems like i've got to nip this in the bud now some guys talking about me diddling my sister <laughs> yeah, gotta, gotta make sure no one it's like dude like why wouldn't you get on stream and be like listen motherfucker like don't you dare yeah. ever accuse me of that shit like no but he's just like eh, whatever let's just get him to say his piece like in the whole he's time, like yeah i said it and i fucking meant it. <laughs> yeah he's just looking sternly at this guy like you better fucking get me out of this bud or else your mom's gonna be really pissed off Man, that's another thing is like mama really had to have got at him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, you can tell she was probably pissed. That, like, it's just because it's like now I have to deal with this because it's going to come back to me because a friend of mine is his mom. Just a just a bad time all around for wings. Facts. It's always a bad time all around for wings. He can't escape any form of controversy because he's been called out by not one but two WWE legends. <laughs> That's right. That's right. And this one, 
the saddest <laughs> goddamn video. I don't even think oh, we should just yeah. let this play in full and then talk about it. This is such a hard watch. <laughs> this just is- for context, Scott Scott Hall had just died, and Kevin Nash was his best friend. Yes, and this Kevin Nash is Kevin Nash. He's drunk as shit. He's drunk. He's sulking about his friend, and someone sent him a, a cameo request to call out a certain man from Conway, a certain <laughs> a certain uh, a certain man who's like you know filled with rede- I don't know where I'm going with this, but wings. We'll, wings. we'll have a we'll have a more positive one with Kurt Angle after this. <laughs> <laughs> hey Richard, I'm going to give you a a quick update. It's your 38 year old 500 pound streamer. Still 13k in donations for weight loss surgery and bought a salvaged V6 Mustang. Now, fuck buying a V6 Mustang alone makes you a douchebag. You're an animal killer. You abuse, but not only are you an animal killer, but you abuse your pets. Jeez, I think killing your fucking killing animals would be pretty much uh, abusing pets. Unless you just abuse the pets and kill other animals, then you're fucking Dahmer. And, and you also abuse your wife, who you married for her health insurance, and you want the age of consent to be 12, which I find it very hard for anybody to uh, want the age of 12 to be, or the age of consent to be 12. If any of this shit's true, you're a piece of fucking shit. Uh, but it wasn't, I have to uh, mute my mic, I'm cracking up. Yeah. Busy with my own too. fucking uh, turmoil. I'd probably fucking, you know, <laughs> wish you brain cancer or something fucking <laughs> mean like that, but I got my own shit going. I would, at the minimum, fucking put a pillow over his face and punch him <laughs> 15 times. I'm able to look in the mirror every day and, and uh, I know I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm none of these things. I guess it could be worse. You could be a fucking Russian pilot. It could be. It could be bombing fucking children in, in the Ukraine. So I guess he, he forgot to add that to your fucking, uh, your portfolio. Uh, Richard, if you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. It's kind of fucked up. I mean, not even kind of fucked up, it's real fucked up. I guess that's what you want to be. Somebody's got to be fucked up, right? And that, that is, is, that, that Wings, is, so is dark. In, Wings is into wrestling too, so he knows these people. Yeah, he knows these are the people, these people he grew up watching on TV. Like when Wings was like a young kid, he was growing up on like, look, it's Big Daddy Cool Diesel, the, the the World Wrestling Federation champion, and now Big Daddy Cool is calling him out, telling him that he wants to put a pillow over his face and suffocate him and shit. Like, imagine that, right? Like. Imagine you're like a guy like all right, I don't know. Imagine you're like in like your sixties or something. You grew up watching like, Hey Jordy oh, Jordan shit. The <laughs> you could Dictator of Conway. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> it's so hard with YouTube shorts. You're good. But yeah, imagine you grew up watching like John Wayne or something. Next thing you know, John Wayne's at your door going, Hey, you fucking piece of shit. You fucking <laughs> you if any of the stuff I'm hearing about you is true, oh my god, you're such a fucking loser and a Somebody fan. paid me fifty silver dollars to come down <laughs> yeah. here and tell you you're a piece of shit. <laughs> Someone told me that you're a fucking that you, you, you fat surgery eating <laughs> bastard. Um, but there's so much Kevin Nash brought up there that we haven't even touched on. The fact that Wings yeah. is in a, in a marriage with a woman who is pretty much just there. There's no love in this marriage. It's all about fucking money. And, and it's, there's so much like other shit with Wings. Like I said, we only really just talked about once the fact that he said the age of consent should be 12. Then he went back on it and said, like, I knew kids who were like 13, 14 when I was young fucking on the regular. And that was his like yeah. justification for that. So like there's so much fucked up shit that Wings does that kind of justifies these wrestlers calling him out, which we're about to see. We're about to see <laughs> another great one do right now. I love how positive he is about it too. Yeah, Kurt I fucking to put love a Kurt. Spin on, on the, <laughs> the horror that is Wings' life. Jordan, the dictator of Conway. How are you? It's your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle, and I want to congratulate you on beating the surgery. And I just want to tell you that me, Kevin Nash, and Chris Hansen are coming. <laughs> and I know you're a 500-pound slob who says you hate Kevin Nash. And I know you drive a salvage V6 Mustang, and you're lazy. And you're also <laughs> unemployed at 40 years old, and you eat Wendy's. And you do tax fraud. You're an idiot, my friend. Oh, it's true. It's, it's damn, damn true. true. <laughs>
Wow, bro. <laughs> the Olympic gold medalist Kurt Angle is calling you out, telling you that you're an idiot. You better get shit figured the fuck out, man. This man bro- won a gold medal with a broken neck and Wings can't get a job while he's just like fat as fuck. You know, Kurt Angle's a hero. Wings is Wings. Is wings. <laughs> Kurt Angle wins gold medals. This is a gold medalist. This is an Olympic gold medalist in actual, like, real wrestling calling out wings. Yeah. Like, he's taking down some of the most fearsome opponents of all time, but there's none more fearsome than the man on the screen you're seeing right now. You know, you know, like, how much weight it would take to hit him with an angle slam? Like, holy shit, bro. Like, you need to put him in the ankle lock, the ankle lock, and finish him. (laughs) You need to start singing a little rap about it. Oh, yeah, the Kurt Angle. God, Kurt Angle's the best. Kurt he Angle's is, the fucking best. He is. Him and his little... He came out and just doused people in milk. Could you imagine <laughs> cleaning that shit up? That would be hilarious if Kurt oh. Angle showed up to Wings' house in a milk truck. <laughs> start, hey, Jordy, get out here. Just fucking started going off on him with the uh, the milk hose. Have you seen his, his uh, introduction where he's like... He takes the two deals of milk in his tuxedo and he fucking downs them and he pours them all down his oh, tuxedo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It is Hall of Fame induction. It's the best one. It it's is. It's the best one. I love Kurt. I think that's it for the the WWE shout outs. We got a couple more videos. Um, Actually, just one more. It's the I really want the surgery. <laughs> this will be a good one to end it on. He gets really angry here. Uh, This was before the surgery, of course, which we didn't get into. Wings had the surgery. He scammed people out of a lot of money. Yeah, that's another reason people don't like him. Yeah, uh, he wanted his gastric bypass surgery or some shit like that. and He was going to raise money for it to get it here in America, but nope, decided to go to Mexico to get it because it was a lot cheaper to get it there, which is just horrifying to me. Imagine going to Mexico for like a a life-altering surgery like that. Like, holy shit. For medical Uh, attention, yeah. yeah. I'm not shitting on Mexico, but like, yeah, I I agree. Yeah, fuck that. The lead, the sixth leading cause of error in this nation is <laughs> medical error. It, yes. Damn it! Yeah, the the sixth leading cause of death in this fucking nation is medical error. So I can only imagine what is down there. It's like it makes me, yeah, it's probably terrible. And wings here, <laughs> wings to get the surgery that he wanted so bad. Cheap the fuck out when he got it in surgery. And, <laughs> and it's it's a good thing for everyone to know that. Don't worry, my friends. Wings has in fact beat the surgery. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know how people like beat cancer or they beat uh, COVID. Well, yeah. Wings, he's beat the surgery. He's expanded yeah. his stomach back out to the same size, and he's also gained. Ma- he lost a bunch of weight and he gained it all back. Yeah, that's so dangerous, too. Yeah, <laughs> they could rupture at like any second. I think like, this is. He has to is- be like passing. He has to be like shitting and pissing all the time, right? Like yeah, yeah. Oh. Like he's like I said, that's a that's a real risky game you're playing, Richard. I think it's, I don't know, man. That's fucking scary. Yeah, Richard. They might have to actually put you on a fucking feeding tube if you keep up your behaviors. Well, he'd like that. He could be like technically <laughs> eating all the time. Then watch it, chat. I'm eating and I'm streaming. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I can still talk. It just gets directly pumped in. <laughs> He probably got, yeah, he got stream sniped. I think this is the same, is this the same one as the Sean Ranklin? He's wearing the same shirt and everything. I think this is the same exact one we just Oh, we just didn't let it play to the end. Yeah, no. Oh. He's there for a while. That's a man who wants that surgery. That's a man who wants to be skinny for the first time in his life. You can do it, Jordy. Look at that guy. Yeah, there you go. Fresh hole in the wall. (laughs) If Boogie's on the receiving end of that, it's going to be some trouble. I'm surprised that he's not already going and taking it out on the dog. If Kelly was around by this point, he would have taken it out on her. There he goes. No. Yep, there he comes. There's just glasses all the way over there. That was about it, Jordy. Wow, what a rage quit. He's I got, uh, boiling. I give up. I don't know when I'll stream again.
I really need to make this fucking money. I, I really <laughs> wanted to get this fucking surgery, man. I've wanted it so fucking bad. <laughs> I just can't do it. I can't take this shit no more, man. All I wanted to do was, like, I was fucking lonely. I wanted to just fucking stream and, and, and have a good time, baby. Have a good game. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm so, so look, that's oh. <laughs> Kevin Nash is back. Uh, that's the way. That's the way he acts when he wants to get something that he wants. Right? Look, I'm so. I wanted it so fucking bad. <laughs> you know, I, I wanted the and then he gets the surgery, and he's like a fucking kid on Christmas. You know, he gets that toy he wants so bad, and as soon as he plays with it, he throws that motherfucker to the side he of the room and forgets it, it ever even happened. Yeah. He, it. he don't give a shit. As soon as he got that surgery, he went right back to being a chilly guzzling fuck. He realized, like, oh, well, then there's no reason they're going to keep fucking with me and all this. It's what people tell him all the time in chats and all. Like, why don't you get a real job? Because I can't, man. This is already what my life is, man. <laughs> like, he's just, he's not willing to change. And because no one else will change around him, he feels stuck when he realizes he could do this all on his own and, like, possibly get off the internet, get in shape, be like a decent, like a decent person. But no, it's not, it's, it's not the answer for Wings. That's a great point, man. I, I didn't even think of it like that. The whole weight weight loss thing is probably like, oh, if I lose the weight, well, then the trolling will end. I'll be all yeah. thin and I'll have showed them. No one will it call wasn't me a for him. Anymore. Yeah, no one will call me a fat ass. No one will wow. it's like, really, dude. It's like, yeah, it's, when people are still going to mess with you because you act the way you act. The shit you said about fucking the age of consent is weird as fuck. The shit you've talked about with abusing animals is weird as fuck. People have reason to hate you other than your weight. Why do you think people hate Cyrax? Because he's fat? People hate him. <laughs> like, oh, you fat little. I hear people say that all the time. Streams is like, look at that fat little shit right there. Like, yeah, that's why. That's 100% why. Wings, like, no. It's about the way you act, not the way you look. It's always the way you act. It's, uh, But, the, you know, sometimes the way you look is a hook. That's what it is. Yeah, that, that is Cyrax's whole thing. He does, yeah. He's good. That's, that attributes to Cyrax, but no one else. No one else. Maybe Wings, Cobra. Maybe Cobra. Wings will truly never change in, in, in weight. In in attitude, in fucking place in life, he's think, gonna be stuck. Yeah, I think that's the greatest question to answer at the end of this. Can Wings of Redemption be redeemed? Wow. <laughs> no, and maybe if he wins this boxing match, he can think that he has. But if I think even if he goes there for the boxing match, that'll at least give people a little more respect for Wings. But it's like we saw what he did with the camping trip. We saw what he's done with everything. He always backs out of it. The surgery, he gets it. He fucking just completely fucks it up. Mm -hmm. I can't see him continue training much longer before just giving up on it. So we'll see. But hopefully we see him walking down that aisle to that boxing ring one day because it'll be a funny fucking sub. Oh, God. that's I, I pray to God that we get to see that. I hope the fight goes down. Yeah. And hopefully that'll be a good step in the right direction for Wings to be redeemed. Yeah, no, facts. <laughs> facts. <laughs> Oh man, that's all I had, man. That's all I had. Yeah, and that's really all I had too. I uh, I wanted to let everyone know that you know Kiwi here, he either has or just is about to hit 20k. So I want to say congrats <laughs> to him. And Thanks, that uh, if you guys haven't yet, go subscribe to his fucking channel. You got it. Like, if if you like the content here, you're gonna love the content there. And then also always be sure to catch Too High for Stupid Saturdays 6:30 Eastern Time. And uh, it's it's always a good one over there on Kiwi's channel for Too High for Stupid. So, um, yeah, Kiwi, you got anything you got to say before we uh, wrap this up? Uh, thank you so much, man. It's always a pleasure to be on your channel. It's an honor. Uh, I wouldn't be anywhere without you. You taught me so much, man. Always appreciate you. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can see this Wings fight because we'll cover it over on the podcast. Oh, I know that for yeah. sure. Yeah, bro. It'll be if that happens, that'll be a, that'll be a whole episode dedicated to that shit. Yeah, dude, for sure. Again, thank you so much for having me on the channel, man. It means a Anytime, lot. Anytime, man. And thank you guys for all for watching and shit, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.